of us, not, not a one of us, that has ever put on a bathing suit and not learned the lesson that you cannot go swimming on a full belly. Our parents are still ringing in our ears when they told us, sit down for 15 or 20 minutes before you go back in the ocean or the pool, or else you could get an upset stomach. Their thinking was practical. It was logical. The idea was that if your food was undigested, if you did not metabolize your food and you got in the water and the waves, then you would get sick. And they were right most of the time. I've been thinking of that teaching twice, twice this week. The first is for all of my friends in the area where I grew up, outside of St. Petersburg, Florida, when I was young, who were just recovering from Hurricane Helene, who had just taken all of their flood-soaked furniture and moved it to the street, but it had yet to be hauled away. About all of the families there that have been sifting through mementos just after a few days to see what of their albums and heirlooms were salvageable, and how much of their home they could still live in and inhabit. Most of them had not even called the insurance adjuster yet. And then Milton came barreling down. They had no time to digest the loss that happened to them with Hurricane Helene, and they were forced to face another hurricane. They couldn't even see what was salvageable, and they had to hunker down again. I thought of them eating a big meal and getting into a swimming pool. And I'll be honest with all of you, I've been dreading this cold knee dray. I don't dread every cold knee dray, but this one I am. And the reason I'm dreading it is because I feel that we, as a Jewish people, we supporters of the state of Israel, have not had an ample opportunity to digest the pain that has happened to us as a people. In history, we have always volleyed between happy and sad moments. The Holocaust ended in 45, and in 1948 was the foundation of the state of Israel. 1972 was the atrocity in Munich with the Jewish Olympics, and it was 1976 that the miracle of Entebbe happened. We've always had moments and time in between to metabolize and digest and begin to understand those moments in time. But from October 7th, when the worst massacre in the history of the state of Israel happened, we didn't even have time to digest what had occurred before we were girding up, before we were asking, is someone a survivor? Is someone dead? Is someone a hostage? And within hours, we were already in our gear, prepared for an air assault and a ground assault. And it wasn't until weeks and months later that certain people were already proclaimed to be alive and in captivity, or to be dead, or to be found. And we've had no time as a people to process. And here we are at this holy night of the year where the prayer tells us, wipe the slate clean. Dip the eraser in water and put it on the chalkboard. Make streaks and take everything that was there and get rid of it. But if we haven't processed it, how can we get rid of it? If we haven't swallowed it and digested it, couldn't we do more damage by just erasing it? As we enter this Kol Nidre, I want to make a prayer as much for me as for all of you. And that prayer is that we take the next 25 hours to metabolize, to process, to digest. Yeah, we won't be eating for the next 25 hours. And it's appropriate for us to pause before we get into the waves of life and the rough and tumble that the world can offer. But let us take this moment 
Let us pause. Let us breathe. Let us digest. Let us mourn. And let us be fortified for all in the year that has happened and that will occur tomorrow and beyond.